everyone welcome back to my channel today we will be creating roblox part 2 in scratch 3.0 Now let's get started. So you can draw these costumes or take them from the link in the description. So we'll add some code in the Parker game button. When this sprite is clicked, broadcast setting a Parker game. When I receive setting a Parker game, hide. When the flag is clicked, set player status to normal. Go to x0 and y-50 for the player. Change this minus 50 to minus 55. Set size to 50%. Set last key press to down. Show switch costume to down still. When I receive Parker game successfully loaded, start playing. Show. Clear graphic effects. Switch costume to down still. Forever. If down arrow key pressed, then wait for 0.2 seconds. Switch costume to down 1. Wait for 0.2 seconds again. Switch costume to down 2. Else, if up arrow key pressed, then wait for 0.2 seconds. Switch costume to up 1. Wait for 0.2 seconds and switch costume to up 2. Now we'll duplicate this for the right arrow key and change the values for 3 times with the right still and the same for the left arrow key pressed by duplicating it and putting it underneath yes and, and in here left still if space key pressed then set player status to jumpy Repeat 10, change size by 1, wait for 0.1 seconds, repeat 10, change size by minus 1, set player status to normal for the jumping script. If last key press equals to up, then switch costume to up still. If last key press equals to down, then switch costume to down still. If last key press equals to left, switch costume to left still. If last key press equals to right, then switch costume to right still. When I receive Parker game successfully loaded, start playing forever. If up arrow key pressed, then set last key pressed to up. 
If down or arrow key press, then set key. Last tab pressed to down. If key left arrow press, then set last key press to left and same for the right. When the flag is clicked, height, set checkpoint path game to 1. Go to X and Y respective positions, switch costume to costume 1, set size to 400% and switch costume to costume back to 2. Yes. Now we'll add some more code in this script. Forever, if player status equals to normal, then if up arrow key pressed, then change Y by minus 4. Now in the else block, if key down arrow pressed, then change Y by 4. If key left arrow and for the right arrow, 4 and minus 4. Yes. If key player status equals to jumping, then we'll add this code of the up, down, left and right movement. When the flag is clicked for the Parker game loading screen. When I receive setting a Parker game show, when I receive Parker game successfully loaded, start playing height. When the flag is clicked, height. When I receive setting a Parker game show, go to front layer, point in direction 90, wait for 0.1 seconds, repeat 180, turn towards right 3 degrees, height, broadcast Parker game successfully loaded, start playing. When the flag is clicked, set checkpoint Parker game to 1, show, set ghost effect to 100 for the touchdown detector. When I receive Parker game successfully loaded, start playing forever, go to player, if touching color black, then broadcast touching boundary bounce, same for the color red, broadcast on lava, same for the color blue, broadcast falling down, and same for the color green, set checkpoint Parker game to 1. If touching color yellow, then set checkpoint pack game to 2. If touching color blue, set checkpoint pack game to 3. If touching color skin, set checkpoint pack game to 5. Same for 6. And 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11. So we have 11 checkpoints. And the rest 2 for the falling down script. Yes. When the flag is clicked, show set ghost effect to 100 for the boundary touch. When I receive Parker game successfully loaded, start playing forever, go to player. If touching color black, then broadcast touching boundary bounce too. Now we'll drag this code to the left toucher, like this. We'll clean up the blocks and change the values to touching boundary left and right for both these sprites. Now we'll code the Parker wind screen. When the flag is clicked height, when I receive Parker game wind screen, wait for 0.5 seconds, go to front layer, show, wait for 0.5 seconds height, wait for 0.5 seconds show, wait for 0.5 seconds height, wait for 0.5 seconds show, wait for 0.5 seconds height, broadcast setting up home page, stop the script. If not play status equals to jumping, then repeat 10, change size by minus 2, height, go to x0 and y minus 55, clear graphic effects, set size to 50%, show, stop the script. And same for when I receive on lab by duplicating it. Yes. When I receive falling down, play sound die until done. When I receive touching boundary left, if right arrow key pressed, then change x by minus 10. Same for the right. When I receive falling down, if checkpoint Parker game equals to 1, then go to x and y respective positions. If checkpoint Parker game equals to 2, then go to x and y respective positions. Same for Parker checkpoint 3. We'll go to the x and y respective positions. Same for the 4, go to x and y respective positions. Same for 5. Go to X and Y respective positions. 6, 7, 8, same for the ninth. We duplicate it and change the values to X and Y. Yes, and for the uh, checkpoint number 10. Yes. So we have 10 checkpoints in total now. So you can duplicate all this code and change the when I receive falling down to when I receive on lava, same for it. 
So if you like the project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For more such videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye, meet you next time.